Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for tuning in and welcome. This is my next piece that I'm working on. It is in our dining room and we decided we did not want it to be this color after we painted this wall teal, it clashed with it. So I went out to Instagram and I asked everybody if we should paint it a light or a dark gray and the light gray one. So here goes. The first thing I did is the first thing you always do with every piece is I cleaned it. And then I rinsed it off with some water and I let it dry. Then I took some 220 grit sandpaper and I scuffed it up to prepare it for the paint. Here's my favorite brush, my zebra brush. I use it for most pieces that I paint. I just love the curve and the small handle. It fits in my palm perfectly. I'm also using a plastic tray from a 99 cent store rather than using a styrofoam or paper plate that will get thrown out. I just keep reusing this tray. Now you can watch me paint the satisfying part of this whole process. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. I have a lot more pieces ready to go in my stash and I think I have some pretty exciting work coming up and I don't think you want to miss it. So please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. As most of you know, we moved into this house in June and I'm still hard at work trying to make it feel like our home. Our last home was basically completely done, so it's kind of like we're starting over again. So right now I'm focused on the dining room and I've painted most of the walls in the living room, dining room and kitchen. I'm almost done with that. And this is a big part of completing the dining room. There are a few more steps along the way, and if you stay tuned, you will eventually get to see it completed. I'm told that our dining room, living room, and kitchen has a kind of earthy boho feel to it, which kind of made me excited to see how everything turns out, because I kind of like that it was described that way. Well, here's the piece after doing two coats. I kind of thought it would need three coats, but it didn't. This paint has some amazing coverage. So here's the two coats and I did some gator hide clear coat on it because this is a high traffic piece, being that it is a wine and liquor cabinet. So I took that vine and I kind of weaved it in and out of it and I gave it a little bit of a glow. I didn't like that vine on the wall, so I figured out a better way to make use of it. And here's the piece again. And again, thank you for watching this. And I really hope that you consider subscribing and please hit the like button because it does help my channel a lot. Thanks for watching.